Well, it's time now for Great Day Books. School is out for the summer, of course, but that doesn't mean the kids should stop reading. No, we talked about motivation. we got to give them something they love. So we have great options for younger readers from Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers, who's here. Thanks so much for being here. It's always a pleasure to be here. Yeah. It's so nice, and you brought some really good choices. So great, and there's so many choices. I mean, I always say, if a kid likes something, find a book about that. Oh, that's you know, a know, idea. Right? If, you, if they are hesitant to read or whatever, there's so many topics. You can find a book about anything at all. Anything, like yeah. if they're into baseball, they're sure there's a baseball oh, book out there's there. There's plenty of baseball books. Absolutely. For okay. all ages, too. Okay. Um, and so, yes, you want to keep their minds fresh, but you want them to have fun. You don't want to, you I know, ask force a them on dumb it. Dumb question. Are there any you, Barbie books? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there are. Yeah. Barbie books and Oppenheimer books. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Definitely. That's mm -hmm. often, I think, when my kids were young, how they wanted the Doc McStuffins book or they wanted sure. the Lightning McQueen books or, you know, yep. so. Um, and it's, and it's a, use it as a gateway to something else because if, once they enjoy reading and they don't see it as a chore or, oh my gosh, I have to read about this topic, which I'm not interested in, they'll enjoy reading and then they might find something else and, you know, increase their vocabulary and move into other types of books and it's just, Use it as the gateway. Absolute All right, so uh, pop up peekaboo. Oh. I love the ocean, so this would be fun to read. And so I brought, I bought most of the books. Well, not most. A few of the books are about summer stuff. So the pop up books are just adorable. They can learn about what's going on under, under the water, and they pop up their beautiful illustrations, and they, yes, isn't that cool? you know, have some words. Look, look at, isn't oh, that great? Look at that. That's look at beautiful. That. It's really pretty. The colors are Ooh. bright, you know, and it's just fun. Sit with your child, read with them, and then maybe they'll explore it on their own. Too. In the busy coral reef, the sea is warm and calm. Which striped fish are hiding? They're keeping safe from harm. Yeah, I like oh, that. although I have was, to say, sadly, it's a little well, warmer a than normal. A little warmer than normal, like 102. <laughs> but who's hiding here? Who else glows? Oh, it's a jellyfish. I love jellyfish. <laughs> See, look, we're already having fun. We're already having fun. <laughs> we don't need to talk about any other books today. We're <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me that book. Oh, my goodness. So I, I also brought um, something that's a little more of a story. So this is called The Ice Cream Vanishes. And this is what happens when I'm around ice cream. I can tell you that. Yeah, me too. And so this squirrel wants to make things vanish. He can make acorns and nuts vanish. And he wants to find the magic words to make ice cream vanish. And he leaves an ice cream out trying to find the words and of course then the ice cream is gone because it melted but he doesn't realize that so now he's like trying to figure out the next time why didn't it vanish and so he brings in a bear and then all the other animals and no. it's so cute and I love that. you know they end up doing you know what Again, what I do with ice cream. Well, you they, eat it. They have a great Absolutely. time with it. All right, that's awesome. Um, so, okay, we'll talk about something a little more educational, but again, fun. So this is Mad for Math. This is has an ocean theme to it, but there's a space theme. There's a, a sports theme. And so it is a little bit of a workbook, but it's it's fun. And they, you know, they can find the different... You know, things that go, the, the creatures, the fish, the lobsters. And they're doing math, but they're having... Hopefully a good, a good time doing it. And again, there's different themes to these. We have all different kinds of workbooks, you know, so maybe, you know, do a page with them. And, yeah, that's awesome. You know, well, these are things to take to the beach, too. Like, I remember thinking my friend brought a workbook to the beach. Oh, that, that, that looks like, tr but if it, when it's fun like this, yeah, like, oh, the like kids that. think it's fun. So you, that's your whole point. You want yeah. them to associate and make learning little, is fun. Right, make a little thing with it. You know, like there's the, um, there's some little quiz books that you can, you know, to have just have a little, like, okay, if you get three these right we're gonna go you know up and have a snack or we're gonna jump in the water let's jump three times or I don't know you mm -hmm. know there there's all kinds of things that you can do with it to incorporate into what you're doing you know on a daily basis <laughs> six times four is 20 and they have the answers so just in case for any parents that are afraid of math there you go <laughs> 10 plus the answers four are in 11 there. minus seven is four. 34 divided by nine is six okay we still okay. Be, we got it that's it's not we can six do. Uh, it's not six uh, it's four. But okay it's four. <laughs> sorry I, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, sorry sorry um, for. It's okay, 36. I'm going to move so on while you guys figure you, out the math. So 34 divided by 9 is not an even number then. It's not an no, even it's number. No, it's no. So oh, they're well, teaching you gotta, gotta get into fractions. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, I was trying to guess. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about, so RJ Palacio wrote um, Wonder, that book years ago about the child who had, you know. Oh, um, I love that book. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, it just is a book that's loved by many, many, many. So this is actually uh, going to be a movie very, very, very oh, soon. Cool. So this is the graphic novel of Whitebird. It's a historical fiction um, so it, it takes place in World War II and the grandmother is telling her grandchild about her story okay. of being an outsider and what kindness 
saved her. Wow, that's and awesome. And so it's it's a beautiful, it's a graphic novel. We talk about this almost every time I'm on. Graphic novels teach you um, your your words, the vocabulary, understanding, and it, it tells a great story. Well, so yeah. that's, a, that's a really good one. Read it before you go see the movie. Um, and then lastly, I mean, just so fun, I think this is great advice, this young adult book called Never Vacation with Your Ex. There you go. I there think that's really, but it's a it's um this is about a high schooler who the family's go on vacation every year and she actually did date one of the this other family and she has rules for what they're gonna do on vacation this year when they're when I, their family's vacation together. I just so got it's that, fun, I but just it's got off that cruise in March with my ex. Oh you know, geez. Do that, again. that can yep. go along with the summer I turn pretty books too. <laughs> yeah, there exactly. you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, still ahead on Thanks, this, Lori. Well, thank, thank you, you, thank you.